Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com. So a few days ago I installed the solid step from uh, Lipper Components. We've been using it and we've decided we're uh, going to keep it. And because of that, I'm going to install their accessory here. It's a storage box that will fit underneath in the gap that's left from removing the old uh, accordion type stairs. Before I get into this install, I thought I'd mention a few things about this that came up in the comments. One thing that a lot of people seem to have problems with was the, the door clearance. They would uh, install these in some rigs and their doors wouldn't have enough bottom clearance. Just let me show you. So you can see there the gap between the bottom of the screen door and the threshold of the solid step. On my rig I have enough clearance for both the screen door and the main door but there's not a lot and you can see that comes about because this thing's fitting over my original threshold here. This doesn't stick up very much further, but I guess enough on some rigs that the people put it down and suddenly their screen door won't close. Or worse yet, their main door. So something to keep in mind if you're going to be ordering one of these, just kind of check your clearance. Um, possibly you might be able to remove the threshold, put some kind of flat piece of metal underneath and then maybe gain some clearance that way. Another option is you may be able to move the screen door up a bit if the screen door is only the problem. Like, there's so many different variations out there. Mine is a Challenger door. So you can see there's two screws here. I could, could, could drill pilot holes and move them around. Maybe gain a little clearance if you have enough at the top to play with. Uh, another option is underneath. You might be able to take it apart down here pull this out and you know take a bit off of it and put it back maybe just on that angle there you could take just a you know a very small amount of centimeter if that's all you need anyway I thought I'd mention that because that's been a problem that's been reported by a few people in the comments um, the other thing is when it comes out of the rig I measured it's 39 inches it needs to fold out um, if, you're, if you're close to another vehicle or something, well, you're not going to be able to fold your stairs out. So then you're going to have to not, you're not going to be able to get into the door. But I figure I'm still agile enough that I can work around that. Here they are folded up. So what I'll do is if I have to squeeze in there for some reason, if we're tightly parked, I can uh, loosen the nuts here and here. I always carry a, a set of wrenches in the side compartment and I rig. Just move these back. And this thing can push in slightly. It can't go all the way, but it can push in just enough that I can squeeze by. And I'm agile enough to use this uh, grab bar here and get up there. So in a pinch, I can do it. So I've decided to keep them. I really like how solid they feel. I really like this really wide top step that it has. So there's the hole where we're gonna install this box. If you look underneath there, you can see the old brackets that the other stairs were attached to, but I'm going to attach, this thing attaches to the I-beam back here. And you need, it says you need at least an 8 inch or bigger I-beam for it to work. So let's go look at the box and have a look at the, the attachment uh, parts that came with it. Here's the box. Now this thing is really heavy duty. Pretty thick powder, co powder coated steel, it has a good rubber seal on the top. And it closes and has a locking mechanism on it, like that. So I actually weighed this though, and it weighs in at right around 40 pounds. So to keep in mind, you're adding 40 pounds to your RV, and some of our RVs don't have a whole lot of uh, extra capacity. To deal so with. keep that in mind when you're adding something like this. Uh, as far as the stairs, they were pretty equal to the ones I took out, but uh, this is going to add 40 pounds to my rig. So it attaches using this bracket. This bracket is going to screw into the I-beam underneath. They supply you with some uh, tech screws, pretty heavy tech screws, and then regular kind of bolts to go in there and attach to the box itself. Now some people are probably saying oh you should use steel bolts but uh, 
I think the reason they might use just tech screws like this is it's a milder steel and it won't have near the it'll have a different shear strength rating than than higher grade bolts. Sometimes you get a higher grade bolts and they're stronger in some ways, but their shear is actually weaker and they can shear off easier. At least that's what I think they that why they included uh they seem to use a lot of this stuff in RVs where there's a, a shear thing going on. Anyway, I'm not an expert in it, but uh that's my theory. I'll go with what the what the actual manufacturer included in my install. Looks like though I'll probably have to maybe draw pop draw drill a pilot hole first on those. So they want you to center that up with this up this way, center on that I-beam, and then there's two slots here that the box can hang on. The back of the box, I'll just flip it over and show you. Right there and there, so that helps you, uh, you can hang that box onto there being 40 pounds. It's nice that the tabs are there and then you can go and uh, bolt it in place. Anyway, first task is to mark out my holes on the beam so I can drill some pilot holes for those screws. Okay, got those drilled in. Now I'll just uh, tighten them up with a socket. They didn't list any specific uh, torque on these, so I think I'll just bury them down to their flat and give them a little bit extra. And I'll monitor them after the first trips and see how they go. Should be good. my first snag as I was tightening up one of the inner nuts that twisted right off. So I don't know if they've used cheap uh, hardware there or just a bum nut or I'm incredibly strong but I was just using this small wrench so I shouldn't have been able to twist that nut up pretty easily. So I happen to have something I could use instead but that's uh, one thing to watch. Overall, though, looks pretty good. One thing I think I'll do is, because I have the existing hangers for the old stairs, I'm going to run some uh, bolts through the side there, just as a, a little bit extra. This thing sort of uh, wiggles a bit. Let me go under and show you. So looking up from below, you can see the old uh, hanger for the, the stairs, and that's welded on the I-beam there. So there is some holes in there. So I think I could uh, put in a little spacer here, drill a few holes in the side of the box and get some more support off those hangers. I think that would be a good idea, especially in traveling on rough roads, because this thing already weighs 40 pounds and they say you can put up to 100 pounds in it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just to be out in the air on the side of caution. I hate to have this thing come tumbling out. There we go, fills the hole quite nicely. going to be good for a place to store our muddy boots and as I said a galosh is there and I have some hiking boots that always get uh, dirty and muddy so good place to store it out of the way here's the mechanism here and it is a lock let's try the key here I'll give you a little key here to lock her like that so no one can come along and push the button and look at your stuff but I noticed on the side here it's a CH751 which is one of the most common RV keys I actually have one here for the Cougar for my fresh water inlet and as you can see someone with the right key can just come along and open up your uh, little box there. So if you're going to be storing uh, any type of valuables in there, you're going to want to switch.
swap that key out. This thing will just stop kids and, and people who don't know from getting in there, but uh, people who know about that CH751, there's so many keys out there for that. Okay, another install in the bag. If you want more info on the steps or the storage box, I'll leave links in the description. I have a, a previous video of the, the step install. Also, if you want to know um, um, information from owners or people that have tried them, check out my comments. My comment section is really loaded with uh, valuable comments, either good or bad about the products, or whether people like them or what kind of problems they're running into. Uh, I'll soon be installing the third piece of this setup, which is a kind of a shock absorber that sits just inside the door and will allow the step to be raised with just one finger. It won't be heavy, so be able to have an and lifted really easily as well. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com, sitting here on Vancouver Island just waiting for summer to appear. <laughs> We're just getting a lot of cloud, not getting temps, not even getting past a 20 Celsius, which is, you know, around 70, so fingers crossed summer arrives soon.